Coming up on UT 10 News in HD. I was shaking and crying and freaking out. A UT student held at gunpoint tells her story. And we'll also follow how President Jacobs plans to change the university. Plus, Paul Webb has your sports. Your news in 10 minutes starts now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ashley Roth. And I'm Ashley Karsten. Recently, Campus Village Apartments has had a string of violent crimes. I sat down with one of the victims as she told her story. She wishes to remain anonymous, so throughout this story, she will be referred to as Molly. On Monday, September 13th, Molly's world was changed. She was getting out of her car around 9.30 p.m. and was approached by a man with an unexpected demand. He said something to me and I didn't understand what he first said. And then I said, what? And he repeated again. He was asking me, he's like, give me your purse. Wanting to protect her belongings, she refused. And then he was still on his bike, um, pulled from his right side and pulled out um, his gun. She said she felt as if she could have control over the situation, so she reached down and pulled the gun away from the man. In shock, the suspect fled. Even though Molly survived this traumatic event, she is still trying to cope. After this situation, I feel like he kind of took my independence away. The suspect is an African-American male between 16 and 18 years old. If you or anyone you know has information on this case, please call Crime Stoppers at 419-255-1111. And in response to this crime and other crimes, Campus Village Apartments told us they are increasing patrols, improving lighting, and checking for residents' IDs. Well, sadly, stories like this are not new to the university. Karina Cornelis has the surprising numbers. In 2009, the UT Police Department reported 132 burglaries and robberies and four sex offenses. Since August 23rd of this year, UTPD has responded to seven burglaries, one sex offense, and 79 thefts on main campus alone. These numbers are troubling and have some students worried. Like if I were alone, I would feel a little scared from what I've heard that's been happening. UT Chief of Police Jeff Newton says even though campus police can't be everywhere at once, there are ways of making sure you are safe. You want to be confident um, and alert and, and make eye contact and have your cell phone with you. And if you can, you want to have um, you know a friend with you. Chief Newton also suggests that students program the UTPD phone number into their cell phones in case of emergency. For UT 10 News, I'm Karina Cornelis. Thanks, Karina. Nearly 1,800 students die annually from alcohol-related causes in the U.S. Corey Bishop has more on a new policy to help protect students. Earlier this month, an Indiana University student died from alcohol-related causes. In order to keep this from happening at UT, a new medical amnesty policy is now in effect. The policy will hopefully get medical attention to students quicker without fear of having academic consequences. Alcohol, tobacco, and other drug prevention specialist Alexis Blavos explains. They will not be sanctioned by the university, and their friend who's passed out will not be sanctioned by the universities. The University of Toledo Police Chief Jeff Newton explains why the policy was put into effect. The um, uh, medical amnesty policy was put in place um, because again the number one priority is the health and safety of the individual. If you see a fellow student that's in need of medical attention, call 911 immediately. For UT10 News, I'm Corey Bishop. Thanks Corey. President Jacobs announced Friday that he will propose a restructuring of the university to the Board of Trustees. If the board accepts this recommendation, UT will reorganize into new colleges, schools, and departments. Jacobs says no degree requirements will be affected. However, this plan will split up the College of Arts and Sciences. What's broken, a student asked me a while and back. Well, the answer to that student, I gave that student was, nothing is broken. This is about our journey from good to great, a journey to excellence. The board will vote on October 11th. Two buildings on campus are getting a $7.8 million makeover. Mackenzie Keenline explains where the changes are being made. Bowman, Audi, and Wolf Hall are getting a new Center for Biosphere Restoration Research. Assistant Professor of Environmental Sciences Stacy Philpott tells us why updating these buildings are so important. They're extremely outdated and they don't have the, the correct infrastructure, the correct facilities for doing the types of modern research that we do here now. The updated labs will enhance student learning. 
So they'll have much better exposure to, you know, the current understanding and current technology in doing scientific research. Researchers in Bowman Addy Laboratories are expected to occupy the vacant space in Wolf Hall beginning of spring 2012. For UT10 News, I'm Mackenzie Keeline. Thanks, Mackenzie. The university is offering the UT community a new way to keep their property secure. A new bike pad, which is located near the West Parking Garage, was opened in September. By swiping your rocket card, you gain access to lockers, benches, and 70 bike spaces. Vice President of Human Resources, Bill Logie, hopes to increase the amount of bikers on campus. It was to alleviate some of the parking problems and give people who wanted alternatives a place they could feel safe in leaving their bike or their equipment. Human Resources funded this project, which, which cost around $58,000. Well, we'll see. Hopefully it does help alleviate some of the parking issues. I hope so. Stick around. We'll be back with Paul Webb in your Rocket Sports in 30. At the University of Toledo, you'll love the small classes and personal attention. Great job on the paper. Thanks. Choose from more than 140 degrees, from the sciences to the arts. Plus, UT offers exciting career opportunities. Cool, I just got that internship. And our campus is amazing. See you at the game. You know, UT fans are pretty awesome too. See you at the game and see you at the University of Toledo. Welcome back, I'm Paul Webb and this is your UT10 Sports. Well, it was an exciting weekend for Rocket Sports. On Saturday, the football team traveled to West Lafayette looking to give Purdue a run for their money. The Boilermakers got a little bit more than they expected. The Rockets went into Purdue an 11 point underdog and actually ended up coming out on top by 11. Rocket quarterback Austin Danton had a great game completing 24 of 31 passes for 209 yards and two touchdowns. Danton also ran for two TDs. On the other side of the ball, Archie Donald had 16 total tackles with one interception. Coach Beckman wasn't surprised by the upset. That's what UT does. I mean, they've, they've done that. They've won big, big football games against BCS opponents. The Rockets will play at home against the Wyoming Cowboys this Saturday. Well, it was also a great weekend for Rocket Soccer. After beating Northern Illinois 4 to nothing on Friday in the MAC season opener, the ladies look to keep it going against Western Michigan on Sunday. It was a cold day at Scott Park, but the ladies came out red hot. Right from the start, the Rockets were in attack mode. Here, Rachel McLeod almost beats the sure-handed Western goalie. Shortly after that, McLeod gets a second chance and finds nothing but the back of the net. Rockets up, 1-0. In the second half, the Rockets kept on attacking. Here you see Ashley Ross almost score on the header, but the Rockets wouldn't be held off for long. Freshman Nicole Gergic banks one off the post for the game-winning goal. Rockets win 2-1. They will play again on Friday at Ohio. Well, another update from the weekend, the reigning MAC champion in cross country, Ariana Fisher, placed third at the Roy Griak Invitational. She ran a time of 20 minutes and 54 seconds in the eight kilometer race. I don't think I could run that in two hours. Yeah, and that's over hills. <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Paul. That's it for UT10 News. Check out our new website, ut10news.com, where you can watch all of our newscasts and other web exclusive stories. And remember, our award winning newscasts are also on YouTube and Facebook. For Ashley Roth, Paul Webb, and all of our crew, I'm Ashley Karsten. Have a great week and stay tuned for more news from the UT campus. <laughs>